Welcome to my weekly Q and A. Sorry, I'm trying to get some stuff out of the shot so it doesn't look so janky. Hey, Lily. So, hey, Haroon. <clears throat> Hi, is it Saya? Saya Vin? Did I say that right? Shushmita, welcome. Hi, Vi Vias, Bethany, how are you? Happy Sunday. Riley, how are you? It's so nice to see you on here. Almira, hi. Lily's letting us all know she bought leggings from Zara. Oh, jeggings. Uh, thank you so much. Shav Sharvin, Sharvin. Did I pronounce that right this time? Hello, Anishka. Yes, okay. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'll get it right again. You may have to keep telling me until I can get it right. Hey, Cams. Uh, okay, Lily straightened her hair. So <clears throat> the subject I wanted to tell you, uh, just briefly talk to you guys about today before we start. Hey, Orly. Yeah, Orly is asking me how the vacation is going. So I am in Colorado right now on a little uh, vacation, celebrating my anniversary with my husband, who's, I don't know, I guess he's out for an adventure, checking out some old ghost towns or something. Uh, Riley says, guess what I'm wearing? I don't know, are you wearing So You See t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Angela's here. Hey, I'm Matt's daughter. Can you call me Marley? Hi, Marley. Jonathan, sometimes it's hard to open live stream fast enough. Good to know. So, have you guys heard of... She's wearing her... Riley's wearing Darman merch. Okay. Thank you. Is it Pratik? Did I say that right? Okay, so... Hey, Marley, yeah. That's what social media is for, making friends with people. Hey, Sophia, thanks for joining us. Hey, Jada. So, um, questions for me. Uh, yes, thank you, Rizwan. Uh, life's most urgent and persistent question. Do any of you know what that is? Life's most persistent and urgent question. Let me know in the, in the chat if any of you guys know the answer to that. I can give you a hint, too. Hey, Beverly. What is... Okay. Sarvin says they know. Hey, Darman. <laughs> so what is life's most persistent and urgent question? I'll give you a hint. It's something... Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said. Hey, thanks, Zara. Hey, Loretta. So if any of you guys know the answer, let me know. Life's most urgent and persistent question. You've probably had time to look it up. <clears throat> Someone says, let me think. Is it G-Lung? Hey, Catherine, I'm a huge fan of yours. Love you so much. You're the best. How did you get started motivating acting with the Dharman in India? Okay. I will answer your question soon, but I wanted to see if anybody knew the answer to life's most persistent and urgent question. What is the number one question that's persistent and urgent and really important? Anybody know what it is? What is life? Nope, that's not it. Good guess, though. Okay, so I will tell you what it is. Martin Luther King Jr., who, as you guys know, led the civil rights movement here in America, who knew his purpose and knew his calling. Oh, good, Shumita. Uh, very close. Um, are you okay is the urgent one. No. Well, sort of, not really. Yes, Maddie got it. Good job, Maddie. Okay, so yes, it's from one of his speeches. So Martin Luther King Jr. said, life's most 
persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? It's so easy to get caught up in our own world, just focusing on our own plans, our own goals, our own dreams, that we don't even think about other people unless we run into them or unless they're in our family or unless we see somebody hurting. But would your life be different if you woke up every day living in your purpose and your purpose somehow interwove through it, helping others? Helping others, um, you know, whatever your calling in life, whatever your dreams are, whatever your goals are, if it's only based on you and what you want, then it's a selfish goal. But if, it, but if your goal somehow pierces through the hearts of mankind, then your goal is worthy of spending your life working for. Okay, it's Zara's birthday. Thank you and happy birthday. Jonathan says, I try to help others when I get a chance. Uh, what are your thoughts on happy birthday, Zara? I can't wait for Darman's collab with the royalty family. You're in it. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fun one. They're a, they're a fun family for sure. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Catherine. So, so this is, this is considering others before ourselves. Yes, there's a scripture that talks about that in the Bible as well. And sometimes I hesitate on this because so many of us who have, have had self-esteem issues or have dealt with worthiness issues in the past often put their goals and dreams and everything on hold only to help others and they don't do anything for themselves. <laughs> Flammy said, you're so good at being a mean actor. Well, thank you. <laughs> um, so you have to be able to find the balance. Yes, life's most persistent and urgent question is what are you doing for others? But the question I ask in my You Are Worthy course and we unpack it is how do you then do that without burying your own hopes and dreams and sacrificing your self-care in order to do it. To not let the persistent and urgent question of helping others be what makes you become a doormat. So you also don't get used and abused. And it's it can sometimes be, you know, a, a fine line between when we are giving and selfless to others and then when we have to protect ourselves, So it's not always easy to know, but that's why it's so important to keep, to keep prayerful and to keep mindful. And do you guys, do you guys practice uh, praying every day? Do you plan your days out or do you just kind of wake up and let life happen to you? Okay. Uh, Zara says every weekend I go to the orphanage and I give them food and useful supplies. That's amazing. I donate 5,000 rupees. They were all so happy. That's so wonderful, Zara. Is it Zara or Zara? I don't know. What's the most important questions to ask ourselves before bed? Yeah, you know, there's, there's um, a self-help teacher, Brendan Burchard, who has a list of things that you ask yourself before bed and that you kind of go through on Sunday nights to plan your week. So I'm more of a, a morning planner sometimes. Well, I like to plan at night too, but I plan what's what I'm gonna do each day. I don't just wake up and let the day happen to me. And that's important. Um, good on you, Zara. Catherine, I try to pray five times according to Islam. Wonderful, like you're praying so much. And it's true, you know, the scripture says we should pray without ceasing. So to never stop, to always, and you know, there's so much going on in the world and even, you know, you can't manage everybody around you and then you're managing your emotions. It's like, you need to pray just to figure out what's going on. Okay, Vyas is asking me what I think about Cato. Um, he was the son I acted with in, I guess it's three Darman videos now. So he's 11 year old, blonde kid. Uh, he played my son in the autism one, in the student cheats on the test, 
and um, the guy with the turban gets kicked off the plane. He's fun. He's a fun kid. I really like him. <clears throat> he's also, um, he's sweet in some ways. He's a lot of energy. He's got a lot of energy. Okay, Verity says, I pray every night before I go to bed and in the morning too. Zany Zombie Gamer says, I love Dar Man. Uh, Sarvin says, can I act in one of the Dar videos? Well, I think he puts his casting notices on LA Casting. So if you have an LA Casting membership, you'll be able to see when they're looking for actors. And if you're right for the role, submit yourself. And if they call you, you probably have to do a self-taped audition. So you can just film your audition on your... Um, Film your audition on your phone or whatever. Okay. Uh, let's see. How are you today, Catherine? I'm doing okay. Uh, I was a little jet-lagged the first couple days I was here and tired, but <clears throat> I woke up feeling a lot better today. I had a massage yesterday, too. That probably helped. Um, okay. I love your personality. Thank you. Some of these are going by so fast, I can't read them fast enough. Your acting was so good on the plane video. Thank you. Are you on holiday? Yes, Winnie. I'm in Colorado celebrating my anniversary. Uh, what's funny is that in the two videos you were in with Ayanna Taylor, there were sunflower seeds in both of them. I didn't even think about that. You're right. You're right. Uh, the first one I was supposed to be in with Ayanna, it was supposed to be peanuts, but for some reason we didn't have peanuts or we just thought it would be... We thought it would be funnier or more bougie to have sunflower seeds because it seems like such a random thing to be allergic to. Because <laughs> a lot of people are allergic to peanuts. Maddie says, I'm in Colorado. Catherine, how did you start acting in Darman? Well, um, Ricky is the one that told me they were looking for actors. And um, so they sent me some a script and they had me... Um, Thank you, Angela. They had me do, you know, just read it on film and send it in to them. And they had me read it a few different ways. So I read it a few different ways. And <sighs> then I, they liked it and I got the role. Do you remember I talked to you on Instagram? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen some of your messages. Uh, how long does it take to edit a video? What videos are you talking about? Uh, I'm recovering from flu season in Australia. It's winter here. Hmm. I'm glad you're feeling better. All right, Zara. Cool. How long does it take to edit a video? You have to tell me what videos you're talking about. Okay. Nice acting. Wait, can I do that? Anniversary. Sorry. Oh, yeah, it's my wedding anniversary. Um, how long does it take to edit a story video? Are you talking about the Dar Man videos? Because I don't actually know how long it takes. Because I'm not in the editing room when they do that. Probably takes a couple days, I would think. And then the then they have to also um, send it to the composer. And the composer has to make the original music to go with it. And then after the composer, well, maybe before the composer, after it's done editing... Then, then, the Dar, then Dar has to approve it. And then if there's any changes, they go back and make the changes if he wants any changes. And then, um, then it gets sent to color correction and they make it look better color-wise with the picture. And, um, oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't get to see who left the message, but somebody said they're feeling sad today because their dad died. Well, God bless you. I hope you're going to feel better soon. Um, so maybe it takes three or four days to edit a video. I'm not really sure. Okay, um, how long does it take to shoot a Darman story? Well, it takes anywhere between one and three days to shoot. And long days, usually. It can be 12 to 16 hour days. Oh, my, your dog died. I thought you said your dad died. Maybe somebody else said their dad died. Okay, is it fun to make Darman videos? Yes, it is. Um, there are no shortcuts to success. You have to do things the right way. Vias is always quoting the Darman scripts. He, he sometimes probably memorizes them better than I do. 
Somebody just asked, what is my favorite video I've acted in for Dar Man? Well, um, I just made a video two weeks ago, and it's on my channel. And it's my favorite videos I've ever acted in for Dar Man. So check that out. Um, every time someone asks me, I kind of change it. Um, can I still audition if I live in Colorado? You know, there's a couple people who live somewhere else. I think one lives in Arizona. And they got a role, and they fly in every time they get booked on something. I don't know if that's very cost-effective, though. <laughs> You're probably, your whole paycheck is going to your airplane and hotel. So, I mean, I guess it's possible, but sometimes it's, it's difficult because it's short notice. For instance, um, I could be booked on something that shoots in a couple days and... You know, if you, and then, and then, um, oh, then they can't get this location. Or then this actor, this actor, one time this actor booked a commercial, so then they couldn't shoot, they had to move to a different shoot day. So if you live out of town, it's going to be really difficult because if they have to move the shoot and you've already purchased your plane tickets, I, I think it makes it a little more difficult, but I don't think it's impossible. And um, Dar doesn't pay... As far as I know, he doesn't pay people to fly there because there's probably a million actors in L.A., so he doesn't need to fly people in from other states to do it. Um, maybe it's possible that he flies famous people in to do it. I don't, I don't really know. Stranger GS Gaming says it's my birthday. Well, happy birthday. Okay, somebody wants to know what I get paid for the Darman videos. It's not, you know, a lot of times, most of the times in acting, you get a standard flat rate for the day. A lot of times when it's non-union projects um, in Los Angeles, you get like 125 to 150 for eight hours. But Dar pays better than that. So he actually pays by the hour. So when you work long hours, it actually ends up being more beneficial for you. Okay, I love you so much. I wish uh, I wish you could act in Darman, but I live I wish but I live in India. Happy anniversary. Hope you have an awesome week or day. Thank you. Oh, someone just asked me if I get paid for YouTube. Do you know I've had my YouTube channel for like eleven years? I have never gotten any money from it. Um, but this just like a couple days ago, I found out that I'm eligible to be monetized. Now, I've been putting videos out pretty steady for three years, and I haven't received a penny from it yet, but it looks like maybe soon, maybe in the next couple of months, I will be able to. So I don't know what that's going to look like. I just filled out the forms. Um, I just filled out the forms on YouTube, and it says something about it takes 60 days to process and they have to look at your channel and they have to review it and they have to make sure your content is qualifies and all this stuff. So, um, but that was on my goal poster for this year. Actually, I've been trying really hard the last couple of years to get monetized on YouTube. It hasn't happened yet, but hopefully soon. Okay. What do you think about Sniper Wolf? Well, I don't know her personally, but her videos are sure fun to watch. Okay. Um, is acting your main job or a part-time job? Um, I would say it's both. It's, ba it's basically my main job because I don't have another job except being a mom and a wife um, and writing books. So maybe, you know, maybe acting is part-time and writing is part-time. So I love writing. Flammy, I just got I just got my 4000 watch hours this week. So I'm finally eligible. So we will see what happens. Jeremy, I'm from the Philippines. I really love the way you act. Thank you so much. It's me when you're beautiful. Thank you so much. How is it like behind the scenes? Um it's pretty fun behind the scenes. Everybody's pretty chill. Uh, everybody's cool. We do have a lot of um, laughs, and no one's too serious, like on some film sets in Hollywood, where they 
they can be very serious or very angry or very just like do it right <laughs> thoughts on living in in california gabriel um it's got a lot of pros and cons i think more pros than cons um i love the weather i love the people prices are really high kind of ridiculous and traffic is kind of not good <laughs> riley says you make a good karen i don't know how i got trapped in those roles but hey <laughs> i'll take it <laughs> it's memorable right oh gosh um yeah you know what a lot of people dar cast only as bad guys and there's a lot of people dar cast only as the good guys and i'm blessed that he lets me play both good and bad um right i got my my evil side and my good side <laughs> i don't know all right let's see uh somebody asked me who i think the best actor is in dar man oh that's really tough hmm I don't know. So many are good for so many different reasons. Um, and I don't know if I could, it's hard to even know what an actor's full range is. Um, you know, I really like Ricky's acting. I really like Ayana's acting. I really like Colin's acting. Um, who else? What was her name? There's a girl I worked with in Darman. I haven't seen her in a while. Is it Alessandra? Alessandra, do you guys remember her? I thought she she's she's really good too. It's hard for me to know. Oh, Sophia. Let's not forget Sophia. Yeah, somebody just said Sophia. You know, it's hard for me. I'm and I'm not remembering everybody right now. So it's I don't think. I don't think I have a favorite. I think there's so many talented actors that work with them. Somebody said, when's the Q&A with Timothy? Well, he's not in the same state as me right now. Star Gamer Ali. What do you think of all the Dharma and copycat videos? You know, when something's successful, everybody jumps on the bandwagon. Do you remember those fidget spinners you'd put and spin in your hands? I remember those became popular and suddenly every store is selling them and suddenly people on sidewalks are selling them. People are going to just follow whatever is successful and hop on the bandwagon. Oh, yes, you're right. Okay, Riley mentioned Devin. Yes, he is excellent. Really, I see you can't even name everybody because you guys are probably thinking of 20 people I'm not thinking of right now. So that's really hard. <laughs> How many retakes do you have to take for video? Um retakes i think you mean takes right i think the only time you ever really do a retake is if there's some technical difficulty or if you i've only had to ever go back and reshoot something once oh you guys want to know a funny fact okay so who are the two most mean and nasty actors in darman oh yes you're right andrea shante she's phenomenal See, you can't, there's just too many. There is no one best actor in Darman. So, who are the two meanest people in the Darman videos? Don't say me. Don't say me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you. Mayor and Michael, right? Do you know who I'm talking about? Okay, so get this. Little little behind the scenes information you guys don't know yet. So Mayor and Michael shot a video recently. The two the two meanest who play the meanest characters in Darman. <laughs> and they shot their whole video only to find out that somehow the 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 card with all the the SD card or whatever they film it on got destroyed like they were so mean the camera couldn't even handle their meanness the, the the i call them the diabolical duo mayor and michael the diabolical duo they whatever they shot <laughs> 
they have to go reshoot the whole um the whole film because <laughs> yes Chaz is also mean yeah but not he's not he does play yes mean but not mean like Mayor and Michael and like I sometimes do um where they're just like evil Chaz I think sometimes is just like underhanded and shady and like criminal type of stuff yeah, Devin can also be mean, too. Thank you, Sheriff John. Oh, yes, Carl Judy. He will never be forgotten. What a legacy. Um, bye. Somebody has to go. Okay, we'll catch you on the next live. Do you have fun being the bad characters or the good characters? Um, I don't... Fun. Um... It sometimes is more fun to play the bad characters because it's, it's like not something you normally do. It's not like your everyday life. So it's, it's outside of yourself. It's like, it's like fun to play dress up. It's like you're putting on a character that's not really you. So in some ways it can be more fun because it's not your typical, it's not what you're used to doing. Let's play Would You Rather, Nirja. Niraj? Niraj? Niraj says, let's play Would You Rather. Okay, so I guess he's going to ask me some questions. Who's the guy who robbed you in the police thing? Okay, so... Uh, I know his... I know him, but his name... I don't know if I'm going to get it right. Asgar? Asgar, I think? It may be spelled A-S-G-A-R. It may be Asgar. Have you heard of Life Lessons with Lewis? Um, no. Asgar, someone said. How many TV shows and movies did you do before Darman? More than 150. Yeah, way more than 150. How's your mom doing? Um, she is good. She's watching my two boys while I'm on my little vacation in Colorado. Would you rather quit Dar Man or get a divorce? <laughs> uh, if those are my two choices, I'm going to quit Dar Man. <laughs> Marriage is for life, baby. Acting jobs come and go. <laughs> oh, what? This, this sounds like a terrible game. If these are the kind of questions I'm going to get. <laughs> um, somebody said they feel bad for Asgar because he's always playing the thief. Yeah. Well, I understand. Uh, Unicorn World wants to know if I watch the BTS. I've watched a few of them. I haven't seen all the BTSs. I do for sure try to watch um, all the videos. But I don't think I've seen all the BTS. Okay. Who's your best friend from Darman? I don't think I have a best friend from Darman. Um, but I do like Ricky a lot. Um, and I used to hang out with Nick a lot, Nick Sarando. He was helping me for a while shoot my online course. Um, he was being my, my cameraman and part-time director. What was the funniest clip? Um, let me know what specific, what you are talking about. I'm not really sure. Um, yes, MTA expert, you can tell me something. You look like Nicole Kidman. Oh, I used to get that a lot. I haven't heard that in a while. When are you going to be on the next Zoom meet and greet? You know, I only did that once. Somebody set that up. Um, one of the fans set that up for Giovanna and I to do. Ricky has hair like mine. Cool, Andrea. Did you see the video where the homeless man gets his dog taken away? I did. That was really sad. Oh, hey, guys, he wasn't a thief in that one. Someone says he's always the thief. But you're right. Oh, you got a new kitten today. That's amazing. Okay, so Henry just asked if, if we can... Ask Darman for a blooper reel. So they just, if you guys watch the behind the scenes, they just started including a blooper reel at the end of 
uh, the behind the scenes videos. So you'll see all the behind the scenes stuff and then, and then there'll be the bloopers at the end. So I don't think there's enough bloopers to do like a whole separate video on it. So now they've been putting the bloopers at the end of the behind the scenes. What did you do before you started acting? I had a lot of jobs before I started acting. Um, I mean, my first job after babysitting uh, in high school when I was a teenager, I worked at McDonald's for three years. And I also worked in a factory, two different factories on an assembly line. I worked um, at a restaurant. I worked at a dry cleaners. Um, my last job as a grown up was um, parking cars. So I was parking cars here in California for an all-female valet parking company. So we would park cars at parties for rich and famous people and celebrities. And so I was doing that even when I had a baby, but then times got tough for the company and there was the the housing bubble dropped and prices dropped. So when I, they, they dropped the valet's pay $2 an hour and they dropped the supervisor's pay $3 an hour. And then it didn't pay for me to even go to work anymore because I was paying for gas and I was paying for daycare for my child. So I was relying on tips and times were tough and people were not even tipping. So I, it ended up like, being a total waste of money for me to go to work. So then I, it just didn't end up being worth it. So then I just threw everything into the acting. Okay, um, have you ever, okay, some of these are going too fast, so sorry. <laughs> you're a Karen, you're a Karen, Dar woman keeps saying. <laughs> yes, I do play one in the Dar Man films. I'm not sure if I've played one in other films. I probably have, but that was before the name Karen was a thing, so. Um, like, um, okay, what did you think of the Karen video with the homeless dog? I thought it was good. Uh, Catherine, this is the day my dad died. Oh, I'm sorry, Verity. Uh, Raven says, I'm sorry I'm late. Okay. Sorry, some of these are going by so far. Oh, that's right. I forgot I can, like, pause them. Have you, I've only ever seen you act on Dar Man. Yeah, a lot of the acting I did before Dar Man, um, it didn't get as much. Dar Man must be, like, super brilliant at marketing because I've done a lot, a lot of stuff before that, but I think it just didn't get out widespread in the general public and I, I it's cool that he's doing a series so people know what to expect most of the filmmakers I've worked with in my 20 year acting career it they they would just do like one short film every few months or one short film once or twice a year so it's hard to build up an audience when you're not putting out um content consistently like he is it's like, you guys know, oh, I'm going to go see what Darman came out with. But when you're working with filmmakers who only put a film out, like, I, I'm also trying to be a filmmaker. And I, I made maybe four or five short films last year, but two of them I didn't even put out. So it's hard to build up a consistent audience base. That's why a lot of people haven't seen my work. Now, if you go to the website imdb.com and type in my name, I think it lists about 60 other films I've been in, but I've been in twice as many as what shows on there. If you count plays, music videos, commercials, industrials, um, films that somehow just didn't get put on there. Okay, so let's see. Have you ever dated someone from the Tar Man cast? No, I have not because I'm married and I was married before I started working on Darman. As a matter of fact, I have a 13 year old and a, can you believe Elijah's gonna be three next Friday? 
I have a two-year-old right now. Ooh, squeeze him, squeeze him, squeeze him. Um, love your new apartment. Um, I'm in a hotel room right now, FYI, in Colorado. It's not my apartment because I'm on vacation. I know, I should be enjoying the day, right? But I still thought, you know what? I have 168 hours here on vacation. I can dedicate one hour to you guys. Okay, you have the perfect combination with one who acted single mom with a soccer mom. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Favorite author. Who is my favorite author? Hmm. I don't know. I don't have a favorite author. I read so many books by so many different people. I remember reading a book once and being just so amazed at the writing, and now I can't even remember the author. But I remember reading it going, man, I wish I could write this good. <laughs> Somebody wants to adopt Eli. <laughs> We're not giving him up. Do you find Dar Man cringy sometimes? <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean by that. Um, okay, let's see. What do you think of Julie Megan? Do I know who that is? It might be. Is it the girl I is it the girl I worked with who was in the conference room scene when I was playing the oldest gold character? I don't know. Tell me if that's her. Verity says she's been crying all day today. Well, Verity, that's understandable if this is the day your dad died. But please don't cry all day. It's, it's okay to remember him and have some tears, but don't, don't stay in that place. Don't dwell on it. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I know Julie. Yeah, I follow her on Instagram too. She's really sweet. She's really kind. Do people forget YouTube didn't exist when you started acting? You had been on TV. That's right. <laughs> wow. How long has YouTube been around? It probably didn't exist when I started acting. Um, my favorite author is Catherine Norland. Ooh, ooh, Angela. Thank you, Angela. So you guys know I've written three books. Have you downloaded my book for free yet? Jarell, you're right. Okay, so YouTube started in 2005, and I started acting in 2000. So YouTube wasn't around when I started acting. That's right. Okay, um, why don't you ask Darman for a shout out for your channel? Because he has 9 million people, and he can help you. Um, I don't know. I'm not much for asking that kind of stuff. Uh I think I like to let things happen organically and see what happens. Okay, so if I have not answered your question yet and I missed it, go ahead and type it in again. Somebody is asking me what my favorite book is. I would have to say it's the Bible. I got one right here. See, the pages are all torn up. Oop, the phone is actually sitting on it <laughs> so I could get more height. Yeah, you know what? This is like torn up. You ever heard this saying, if your Bible's falling apart, it usually means your life isn't? I love that saying. Okay, now the pages are getting a little wonky. Okay, she's not in it for the subs. She's in it for inspirational videos. Yeah, guys, if I was in it for the subs, I would be doing some pretty wild, crazy content just to get people to watch. But that's not my thing. That's not really my vibe. I want to help people. I want to like help people, inspire them, motivate them, help them get over what they're going through, teach what I've gone through so that others don't have to go through it. I want to help people change their mindset. I want to get people to love themselves and see their potential. I want people to see themselves the way God does so they have the courage and the confidence to go after their dreams. And it's not all about doing stuff to get noticed. You know, I see so many people I could be, I could be doing so much to get more viewers, but it's not, it doesn't feel genuine to me. You know, I could be dancing around in my bathing suit to get people to view. I could be doing all kinds of stuff, but 
it's it's not what it's about for me. Okay. Uh, what is your most embarrassing childhood experience? Oh, man, I used to have a, a bladder problem when I was in grade school, and I used to pee my pants all the time. Maybe not all the time. Maybe it just felt like that. And so at my elementary school, when that would happen, I would have to go to the nurse's office, and and they would put you in these green corduroy pants, and everybody knew those green cord. If you were wearing green corduroy pants around school, that you probably peed your pants because those were from the nurse's office. <laughs> uh, I would say that's probably uh, that's what came to mind when you asked me my most embarrassing childhood experience. I'm sure I have dozens and dozens of them, but um, yeah. How about you guys? <laughs> you guys have any of those? Okay. Um, are you and BTS ARMY? I don't know what that means. Okay, reading books or watching movies, which one do you prefer? It depends. I like reading in the morning when my brain is open and receptive and able to take in. But sometimes by the end of the day, you know, you, you're exhausted and you have um, decision fatigue. Then sometimes it's good just to chill out and watch a movie and not even think. Okay, Jeremy said, and that for me is the real influencer. Um, I'm not sure uh, what you're referring to. I may have, I, I miss a lot of stuff when the things are flying by. Um, somebody said I cried at church this morning. Yeah, did the message touch you? What did you cry about? Uh, the man in the turban was angry. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't get your, was angry at your role in the skit. Well, he, okay. Are you talking about the, the the actor who played the guy in the turban? Okay. Uh, and, th and how, okay, so I'm sorry. They're moving so fast sometimes. I'm referring for the subs thingy, but more on, but thank you, Jeremy. I wasn't sure if that's what you were talking about. Fans, okay, my brother does not like Darman. He thinks the acting is bad. <laughs> well... It's not for everybody, but it's for the people it's for. You know what? No one is ever going to please everyone. No, you, you can't please everyone. Even if you did everything perfect, some people could still find problems with what you do. So it doesn't matter. So he's making videos for the people that love them, not for the people that hate them. Yeah, it's a different, it's also a different kind of format. So, you know, acting wise, when you're acting for film, that's gonna be on the big screen in the theaters where a blink of an eye can be too much. The, the, the acting on the Darman platforms can sometimes, if you're used to seeing film acting, might sometimes seem a little pronounced, a little over-exaggerated, over the top, but that's because it's, it's for the platform it's for. So probably 90% of people are watching the Darman videos on their small little phones. So the acting performance can be bigger. Whereas like a medium, so because it's a smaller screen, so you can do bigger things and it doesn't look like, whoa. But when the screen is super big in front of you, even one little shake of the head can seem exaggerated. So there's different acting styles for different platforms. So even bigger, even bigger acting would be for the stage. So if you're a stage actor and you're doing theater, your acting can be super big and pronounced because you're trying to reach all the way back, 300 people, 500 people in the way back row. So everything has to be more pronounced. Um, TV is kind of in between. So there's the acting on like YouTube and internet stuff, which is um, big, bigger, and then TV, the T, people have big TV screens now. So the acting on TV used to be a little more pronounced. It's getting a little bit smaller of the exaggeration. And then film acting is this, you're so big on the film screen that just even like moving a little bit is going to seem jarring if you have a close up. So I know some of you guys have been asking me for acting tips and points, and I guess we're getting into a few of them now. 
So also sometimes what seems like overacting is if someone is being too loud for the size of the frame, the size of the shot. So one key or one tip is to know how big the camera, if, if you can't, you know, if you're too embarrassed or afraid to ask the cameraman, what's the size of the shot? Because the size of the shot usually determines how big your acting can be. If it's a wide shot or a long shot and you see most of your body, you can do more exaggerated uh, movements. But if the camera is moving into a medium, you can do the same movements, but just a little bit smaller. But if it's like a super tight close up, then you only want to do like, you don't want to do the same stuff you did in a wide shot because then you go out of frame, depending on how small the shot is. So that's just some of the little um, technical stuff about the acting. All right. Um, who do you subscribe to on YouTube? I don't even know who I subscribe to because I used to have, I think maybe you guys can see my list of who I subscribe to on YouTube. I, I don't even know. I used to get an email every week with the people I subscribe to and the videos. They'd say, oh, these people just upload new videos and now I don't get those emails anymore. So I don't even remember who I subscribe to anymore. Um... I probably subscribed to Darman. I don't know. I subscribed. I used to subscribe to Freely the Banana Girl, who now has the frugivore diet. Um, I don't really know. I'm sorry. Maybe you can look it up on my channel and see who I subscribe to. Okay. I kind of get angry at your role in the videos, even though I know you're acting. Well, that's good. That's good. Because then, then it says I'm doing my job right. You know? Then I'm... I'm playing the character in a way that you actually believe that's who I am. And if I'm doing that, then, then that's a good thing. That shows I'm fully committed to the character. Okay. Oh, no. Somebody said they fractured their ankle. Well, I pray that you heal quickly. Okay. Have you ever visited India? Babu, no, I have not. Um, I have not visited India. Uh, somebody wants to know who my favorite actor is. Um, I think I really like Charlene Theron. Is it Theron? Do you say her name? Theron or Theron? I also like David Morris. I like Denzel Washington. I like Angela Bassett's acting. Um, Rachel Weiss. Is it Weiss or Weiss? One of the two. Um, someone asked if anyone has ever died on set. I don't think so. I mean, not on a darn man set anyway. Uh, I'm sure there, pe for sure people have died on other movie sets. Or Lee says, all the roles you play are believable. Great job. Um, do you watch Asian movies? Sometimes. Not very, not very often. I have a... <laughs> I have a rule that I don't like to read movies with subtitles after 10 p.m. at night. <laughs> so if I'm going to have to read subtitles, I want to start the movie earlier in the day so my brain is fully functioning so I can do all that reading. But if I'm tired, if I'm tired, I don't want to read subtitles. That's the truth. Okay, my grandparents are stuck in India because of COVID. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Verity, have a good day. No, I've never gone to Japan. Someone wants a Q&A with my son. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, he has agreed to that, so maybe in, maybe in two or three weeks we can do that. Yeah. Okay, how many languages do you know? I know um, I took one year of Spanish in high school, but I didn't really get to practice it a lot, so I only know probably a few words. And then I started to learn sign language, American sign language, but I know even less of that. Is that true you were the first actor who reached 100 roles in Darman? Yes, that is true. Okay, uh, Q&A with the Norlin family. I don't think that'll ever happen. <laughs> Hubby does not like to be on camera. He's a behind the camera guy. He's actually 
a cinematographer and a photographer, and he likes to be the one taking, holding the camera and not being in front of it. Although, I don't know if this is gonna happen or not yet, but I was, people have been asking me to do vlogs, and I don't know if I wanna do that. That seems, I don't know. Who would wanna see what I do in my life? That seems kinda boring. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if I get 10 of you, no, 15 of you, to say you want to see me do vlogs, then maybe I'll consider it. <laughs> um, I don't know. It just seems kind of boring. Like, here's what I did today. I went to the grocery store. I changed a diaper. It's kind of like who really cares, right? <laughs> um, but I suppose if I get enough of you asking me, maybe someone can keep track of I have to get 15 people <laughs> to ask me for a vlog. I did start filming some of the stuff, just what we're doing each day in Colorado, and maybe I'll do a video of our week in Colorado. Um, yeah, it's not that I'm not comfortable doing a vlog. I just, I want to do stuff that matters. I want to spend my life, my time, and effort doing something that's going to make a difference for humanity. Do you know what I mean? So putting time and effort into like something that may be narcissistic, maybe it's not vain. I don't know if it's how, if it, if I can somehow find a way that it would actually be helpful, like as part of my legacy that, wow, seeing you do this really made a difference and it helped me, I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's got to. It's got to have. It's got to have a point to it. I don't like to do things that are pointless. I don't. Time is one of the things you cannot get back. You can always replace your money. You can. There's things that can be replaced, but time is one of those things that can't be replaced. So, if I'm going to do videos, I want it to be impactful. I want it to make a difference for people, and I don't just want it to be like, follow me around today. This is what I'm doing. Um, Here's me doing my makeup. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which, by the way, I, I forgot my makeup. I did not pack any makeup for Colorado. So um, I almost went to the store and bought some mascara and a lip color just to do this live stream today. And then I thought, who the heck cares, right? Not a one of you has mentioned that I don't have makeup on. So you know what? All natural is what you get today. Okay, do you watch movies differently since being in the Darn Man videos? No, but when I started doing movies long before Darn Man, 17 years before, I did start watching movies differently because I would notice things differently and then I would wonder how they were shot and, and I would all the behind the scenes stuff would be um, you know, on my mind. Thank you, Angela. So, um, I'll go for another seven minutes. I'd like to give you guys an hour on Sunday. So what are your most persistent and urgent questions you've been wanting to ask me? And let's see if we can get them answered before I have to go. I only found you on Darman because of your heterochromia. Oh, that's interesting. Do you like being on Darman? Yes, I do. Okay, do you have TikTok? I don't think so. Somebody took my name and I think has been posting under my name, but then I I tried to get I tried to sign up for a TikTok account, but then I don't know what happened. I didn't hit the they got sent me an email and I didn't hit confirm on time. So I don't think I have TikTok, but somebody has it took my name. I don't know. Uh do you have Facebook? Yes, I do have Facebook. Um Vias put that question in again. I missed it. Have you ever done fight scenes in movies? Yes, I have. Have you guys seen my movie, Cannibal Corpse Killers? Cannibal Corpse Killers is available on iTunes, on Amazon, on Vudu, on Redbox, uh, all kinds of platforms. If you type in Cannibal Corpse Killers, I had at least three or four fight scenes in that movie. And that movie just came out last year. It's a zombie movie and it is rated R. Forgive me, it is a rated R movie. So just giving you the warning now, it's not for children. Okay, um, what editing software do you use? Someone's asking. Um, some of my videos uh, for YouTube, I edit on, most of my videos where I'm just doing the advice videos, I'm either editing on Adobe or 
Da Vinci Resolve. So I have, I have um, a couple of people that help me with my editing. Um, and so they'll, they'll cut together my advice videos, put the words on the screen, um, and all that stuff, put, put in some stock videos and stuff like that. And then when I'm doing like my filmmaking ones, uh, where I'm doing short films or poetry videos of stuff that, um, I've directed and stuff, I, I usually use Final Cut. I work with an editor who uses Final Cut, and then I sit with him in the editing room and tell him what shots I want. But I've never, I've never sat down to try to edit myself except on Windows Movie Maker. But I, I don't have a lot of time to edit myself, so I usually get, I usually pay people to edit for me. Okay, Stark Plaz. Okay, what's your favorite color? My favorite color is turquoise. Yes, I read um, that my that having two different colored eyes happens to one in every eight million people. Okay, why did Kyle in the autism video hide the fact that Sam, who has autism, is his brother? Well, because he was embarrassed of his brother. He was ashamed of his brother. He didn't want anybody to know that was his brother. Um, let's see. Because he didn't want people. Yes, exactly. Flammy. Okay, so... Um, Somebody just put in a question, and I want to see that question again. It was something about roles that you play in real life or something. Have you ever cut your hair for a role on Darman, or do you always wear wigs? I've In Darman videos, I've always worn wigs, but I would be willing to cut my hair for the right role. Um, yeah, I would be willing, if it was a really awesome role, then I would be willing to cut my hair for that role. Have you ever seen the movie The Legend of Billie Jean? Okay. What advice do you give yourself before you became an actress? Uh, I don't know. It's hard to give yourself advice before you do something. You have to almost be in it to figure it out to know what kind of advice you need. But if you need advice, if you're just starting out and you want to be an actor... Don't take the no's personally. You're going to go to many, 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 many auditions and you're not going to get the part. But just because you don't get the part doesn't mean you're not good, doesn't mean you should quit acting, doesn't mean you should give up on your dream. It just means you weren't right for that part. And when there's a part you're right for, you will get it. Um, if you're getting feedback saying stuff about your acting not quite being up to par, then maybe you want to take acting classes, you know? Um... Yeah, so that that would be what I would say to that. So someone's asking what time it is. Well, here in Colorado, I think it's almost 10 o'clock. It's almost 10 a.m. Um, somebody said, so only 42 people have eyes like you? I don't think so. I think it's more than that. I mean, I read that it was one in every 8 million. So are you saying 8 million times 42 is 7 billion? Is that what you're saying? I'm not sure. How many videos were you a Karen? You know, I just was wanting to figure that out. It's something I wrote down that I was like, maybe I should do a video on how many Karens I've played. Would you guys think that, would that be an interesting video to you? If you think so, then that might be something I'll do. Okay, so a minute and a half left. Any last pressing questions? Text me tips for the Darman audition. Just do your best. You know, you've watched enough of the videos, you can see what the acting style is. That's the great thing you have going for you. You know, sometimes I audition for TV pilots and there's, there's no shows out, so I don't have any to watch, so I can't compare it to what the acting style is. But you can watch all the Darman videos and see what the acting style is. So just do your best. And if you do your best, you can't fail. Now, Jitterbug, you've been saying something about the song that touched you, um, but I don't, you ha I don't think you've mentioned what that song is. No, I have not seen Life Lessons with Lewis. So can I sign language or not? No. <laughs> Bathroom. <laughs> I know only a couple. I was trying to teach my son um, sign language when he was very young because they said he was never going to be able to talk. So we were working on it, but then it never really happened. So... Guys, it was nice spending an hour with you on Sunday. I will see you next Sunday. I hope you have a fantastic week. Remember to live true, love hard, and shine bright.